Welcome back to CompTIA A Plus Core 1 course. Have you ever wondered how your computer keeps track the time and date even when it's turned off? Or how it remembers certain things between restarts? The answer lies in a small but important part, the CMOS battery. This video will explain what a CMOS battery is, how it works, how to spot issues and three ways how to reset CMOS and how to replace it when needed. Let's start by understanding what is a CMOS battery. A CMOS stands for Complementary Metal Oxide Semiconductor. Battery is a small round battery found on computer's motherboard. It powers the CMOS chip which we discussed in previous video. And CMOS battery stores key system information like the time, date and hardware settings. Here are some key factors about CMOS battery. Usually a CR2032 lithium coin cell battery. Lasts between 2 to 10 years depending on usage, powers the BIOS settings when the computer is off and found in both desktop and laptop computers. The question is, what does a CMOS battery do? The CMOS battery is responsible for several important tasks in your computer. First, it maintains time and date keeps the real-time clock running even when the computer is off, ensuring the time and date stay accurate. CMOS saves BIOS settings, keeps your BIOS basic input-output system or UEFI, Unified Extensible Firmware Interface, which we also in great detail discussed in previous video, settings saved between restarts, preventing the system from going back to default settings. In-depth information about BIOS and UEFI you also can find in the previous video. CMOS allows quick startups. By keeping BIOS settings intact, it helps your computer boot faster and ensure it loads the operating system correctly. CMOS also manages power settings. It helps control low powered models like sleep and hibernation. Where is CMOS battery located on your computer? On the desktop computer, the CMOS battery is usually easy to find once you open the case, often near the BIOS chip on the motherboard. For laptops you may need to remove the bottom panel or disassemble part of the laptop to access the battery. How does the CMOS battery work? The main job of the CMOS battery is to keep the CMOS chip powered, so it can store important system information such as the system time and date, hardware settings, boot sequence options, power management settings and BIOS UEFI password settings if password is set in your BIOS. When you change the BIOS settings they are saved in the CMOS chip. If the CMOS battery dies the settings reset to default factory settings every time the computer is powered off. And here are the signs of failing CMOS battery. Knowing the signs of weak or dead CMOS battery can help you fix problems before they get worse. Here are some common symptoms. Wrong time and date. Your computer keeps showing the wrong time and date, often resetting to default date like 1st January 2000 or 2024 after restart. You can confirm this in the BIOS setup. Reset BIOS settings. If your custom BIOS settings keep reverting to defaults, the CMOS battery could be failing. Boot issues. A dead CMOS battery can cause booting problems like failing to pass the power on self-test or post or getting stuck in boot loop. Error messages. You might see messages related to CMOS or BIOS settings during startup. Hardware detection problems. The CMOS might struggle to detect certain hardware components or configure them incorrectly. Slow boot times. Booting may take longer as the BIOS has to reset its settings every time. If you notice any of these problems, it's a good idea to check the CMOS battery. How to replace the CMOS battery? Replacing the CMOS battery is straightforward but requires care. Here's how to do it. First, gather tools. You'll need a screwdriver, a new CMOS battery, usually CR2032, and ideally an anti-static wrist wrap. Prepare the workspace. Work on clean static surface, avoiding carpeted areas. 3. Turn off the computer. Shut down the computer and unplug all cables. 4. Open the case. On desktop remove the side panel, on laptops you may need to remove the bottom panel. Step number 5. Find the battery. Locate the CMOS battery on the motherboard with small silver coin shaped battery. 6. 
Remove the old battery. Carefully take out the old battery. It might be held in place by a small clip. Just press the clip gently and the battery should pop out. 7. Insert the new battery. Install the new battery with the same orientation as the old one. 8. Resemble and power on. Put the computer together and plug in all cables. Turn it on and set the correct time and date in the BIOS. You may also need to adjust the BIOS settings. Note, always check your computer's manual before making any hardware changes. If you are unsure, get the professional help. Now let's talk about how to reset CMOS. Some motherboards have built-in dedicated buttons to reset or clear CMOS settings. If your motherboard doesn't have a dedicated button for clearing the CMOS, you can use these alternative methods. Using the CMOS jumper. Locate the CMOS jumper on your motherboard. It's usually near the CMOS battery and it might be labeled as CLR underscore CMOS or clear or GBAT1. Turn off your computer and unplug it from the power source. Move the jumper from the default position usually covering pins 1 and 2 to the clear position covering pins 2 and 3. Wait for about 5 to 10 seconds. After that move the jumper back to its original position covering pins 1 and 2. Plug in your computer and turn it on. Turning off the power is essential because it ensures the motherboard is completely powered down, which is necessary for the CMOS reset to take effect. Another way is by removing the CMOS battery. Turn on your computer and unplug it from the power source. Locate the CMOS battery on your motherboard. It's a small round silver battery. Carefully remove the battery. You might need a small flash head screwdriver to gently pry it out. Wait for about 5 to 10 minutes to ensure all the residual power is drained. Reinsert the battery, plug in your computer and turn it on. And method number 3 is using a metal object to short the CMOS jumper. And to do this follow the following steps. Turn off your computer and unplug it from the power source. Locate the CMOS jumper. Use a small metal object like a screwdriver to short the two pins on the jumper for a few seconds. Remove the metal object, plug in your computer and turn it on. These methods should help you to clear the CMOS and reset BIOS UE. FI settings to their factory defaults. And there you have it. The CMOS battery may be small but it is vital for keeping your computer running smoothly. Understanding what it does and how to fix it can save you from bigger issues later. Keep an eye out for signs of failing battery and replace it when needed to ensure your computer keeps working efficiently.